फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई वर्ल्ड प्लेस एट रानाघाट वेस्ट बेंगाल इंडिया लेट एस ऑब्जर्व दिस टोटली अनएडिटेड फिको सर्जरी दिस इज एन इंटोमेशन कैट्रैक्ट इन इंटोमेशन कैट्रैक्ट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप इज कैप्सुलो रेक्सिस बिकॉज देर इज वेरी हाई इंसिडेंस ऑफ रेक्सिस रन आउट इन इंटोमेशन कैट्रैक्ट सो इन सच केसिस the best way to do rexis is to do a small rexis first then aspirate some lens matter decrease the intralenticular pressure and after that we can easily enlarge the small rexis into an optimum sized rexis by this time in this case we have made two incisions we have stained the capsule with trypan blue dye and now the anti chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose this is a sharp needle we do a c flap at the center of the anterior capsule and then this c flap is guided to complete a small ccc ccc means continuous curvilinear capsular excess and now some cortical lens matter is aspirated as we do this the intralenticular pressure is drastically reduced and when we will enlarge the main enlarge the rexis up to this step the chance of rexis run out will be almost eliminated now this go again to fill up the anterior chamber this is a small nick at the margin of the mini rexis we take the iterate again and enlarge this small rexis in this way and do an optimum sized rexis of about 5 mm or 5.25 mm and now the nucleus is to be divided into some fragments and the best and quick way to do this is to hold the nuclear mass with very high vacuum and chop it now i go bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus complete the tip occlude the tip completely and get this nice crack hold it 90 degree away and get another crack this nucleus is brittle and i'm getting the faces very easily now i come to the other hemi nucleus and chop this semi nucleus into two fragments now each fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy which is set at 70% in this case flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 mm of mercury the vacuum machine is oatly catrix 3 and the microscope is oms 800 from topcon now see this i have detached the epinucleus and the epinu this one was acting as a cushion to protect the posterior capsule
Let's go again. And now, this is a 23G Simcoe cannula to remove the cortex. In this case, very little cortex is remaining. You know, whatever is there is being removed by this instrument. I have made only one side port. This is visco. So, I am going to implant the lens, filling up the bag and the SE with Simco, enlarging the main wound because I am going to use a B cartridge. And now, here goes the intraocular lens. The lens has gone into the capsular bag. And now we have to clean the visco that is there in the bag as well as in the anterior chamber. First I irrigate the SE and then the capsular bag with the 23G Simco cannula. And now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannoli. Irrigation is in the right hand. The irrigation goes through the main wound. At this time, we have to lift the main wound a bit so that main the antechamber is maintained well. This is irrigation of the bag, and now I use irrigation and aspiration together for a few seconds and then visco cleaning is complete. This is a bit of moxie. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The antechamber is then nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.